complete walkthrough, all the items, everything. Uh, I will start a new game and kind of currently uh, there will be a cutscene so I will be quiet and see you after the cutscene, enjoy. Perhaps you've seen it, maybe in a dream, a murky, forgotten land. Souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why.
come back. Thousands is very long. <laughs> Cuts in. We are ready to start our journey. Uh, then unknown and dead. Just arriving. So first of all we get a little bit of loot. Mustard coin for luck for finding a rare drop. I can improve the chances. There's another one thing we will collect on the way. As you can see on your left. Okay, and now we're going to see another cutscene. <laughs> Enjoy! Seems to be the ruckus. Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear. Didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You go hollow. Yes, you'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the girl. <laughs> what is your name? Okay, so we will name our character the same name, Shuki. Okay, so now we create our character, Glass Warrior, Gift, I will take the Petrified something, Body, Gender, Male, oh. Nice. Okay. All people come here for the same reason to break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm. Doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> Go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You'll lose your souls. All of them. 
over and over again. <laughs> Okay, so first we will talk to all the NPCs here. This is a limbo, a link between Drunk Lake and the outer world. Fair traveler, I know that you must have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost, decayed kingdom. My name is Millibeth. The old women were once fire keepers. I am here to look after them. It is what my mother did, and her mother before her, and so on. The old women were keepers of the fire. But now, the fire shows signs of fading. And the kingdom is beset by hollows. The old women are sisters. I am told there was a fourth. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. But now they are lost, scattered to the winds. The old women are sisters. Long ago, but now... So basically those two... <laughs> I'm going, going to talk, just laugh. <laughs> but this one will. You must go on a journey without rest. Well, I suppose if you find yourself at an arm pass. But if your will is yet unbroken, then you may return here. To start again. With a clean slate. <laughs> Now, go along, go along. <laughs> now, go along. So basically she says that we can come here, she kind of uh, be able to respect our stats. We need a special item for this. So if we build our character wrong, we can fix it. But before we go, we take the human effigy from the chest. Then we start our journey. Uh, these uh, tablets uh, are explain how to play the game exactly like uh, and Dark Souls 1, the messages, and we did our first point. Let's first put some items that we don't need in the chest. Okay, so we will do the first two parts of the of the tutorial which is those places here enemies are quite uh, weak but I'm doing everything so I have to do this so even with my broken sword <laughs> I can uh, kill them, it's no problem I will find a better weapon uh, later It's better to just keep the torch lit so you don't need to come back every time. Except for cases when it will be... take you a while. was the last torch that's not wasted torches are not uh, forever so but uh, you will have enough oh 
Oh, I made a mistake. Very good. back. Well, it's for the good thing, except uh, torch time. <laughs> Take this. So the, we need to light all the torches because there will be an NPC invading us if we light all the torches in the area. So that's why. Not all the places you need to light. So these are the crows that you need to give this uh, items to them. You just leave it on the ground, and they like it, and they give you something in return. I got something crap. I hope uh, this one will be better. Let me see. It's a random drop. Channelers trident. Ah, you know what? Maybe it's good. Maybe I can use it. Let me see. Oh, I need 15 dexterity. Yeah. Pity. It could really help me in the start. Kind of a nice weapon, uh, it, it uh, buffs you up and it makes a decent damage. I'm gonna light the torch here. A second, reload. Yeah, we need the torch. Okay. Okay, so you need to jump the... Basically, they teach you how to jump here in this tutorial. So you take this item. For me, it was the first death here that I misjumped this place. And I got a trophy for this. Can you imagine? Oh. So we light the torch, so we don't need to come back down here. And we make it. I don't know how I didn't die. Fast torch. Light the sconces here. So once I'm done in this area, I don't need to come back up here to light the scones. Already done. Because you need to light all the scones in this area. Oh, yeah. I'm going now to take uh, the item. There is a room here. It's... This item is for invading. They will not do be doing it, so I'm just trying all the items that I know. So, so that, that's practically it for now for this area. We cannot go here. So we're gonna continue lighting this cons later when we have a proper item to continue. So now we are going ahead. And welcome to Majula. <laughs> it's like the Firelink Shrine in Doxos 1. So before we go, we need to go to another place, get myself change it to the normal weapon. So finally I don't have a broken weapon.
Okay, now we have a lot of talking. We have like four NPCs here. Yeah, and it will take a while. Let's get rid of the dagger and this. The, the trident I will keep and I will have 15 dexterity, maybe I will use it. Are you the next mother? Or merely a pool of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. He who made Dranglake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrick. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. Now we can talk. Past the forest is the king's castle, where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it. Those who come to Dranglake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. That blue light at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Inside the ruins, an ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom, provided you find her on a good day. The sign you bear will drain your very souls, and without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong, do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. But only one step closer to hollow. Not all undead are hollows, but all hollows were once undead. If you find an Estus Shah, bring it to me. So that I may ease your burden. Over the hill and past the forest, where am I? Okay, I will take everything. So basically, we will talk uh, to the guy there at the end. We will, he will uh, join us a covenant. We will see later why. And this blacksmith is a problem. No, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. Now somebody's gone and locked the door. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop chop. I'm a blacksmith. Bring me that. So this guy is locked out. It's locked. I will find the key and open it for him. I will need him to upgrade my weapons. So it's very important. That's me. Get this thing first. Now we will go here, and here will be a kind of a monument. You can join a covenant, and this covenant 
is something you don't want to play normally <laughs> on and it will warn you three times before joining so having this covenant will make uh, the enemy stronger uh, but we enter it just to activate it and we will change it soon to a regular covenant which we we'll talk to the guy we will do it in that so don't leave this covenant on unless you want to really challenge yourself now we, we have like three NPCs left. This is one of them here. Oh, undead are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. Oh yes. You may call me Shaqua. Enchanté. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> so, you can also abandon covenants here uh, if you don't have to go to, but we are going to join one anyway, so don't need. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> this place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent. It grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> yeah, she has an annoying laugh. Have you made friends with the man by the sea? He has lost everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> the only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of... well... Contract, you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> Do you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Long ago they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. To face greater challenges, speak to the rock. Although, you'd just as well not. <laughs> this place is already everything, isn't Okay, so you can buy from her this uh, very important ring, like the cat ring, the engraved ring, the spring of whispers. And it's also nice, those are the two, and, and a lot of uh, this. The talismans is very nice, and also the homeward born. But currently, we're not going to spend any money. Nothing suited you, I presume. Well, that's dismaying. <laughs> okay, so we are left with two NPCs, <laughs> and in this game, they are they are not shutting up. Uh, oh, oh hello there. Welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and I, uh, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. 
very competitive, of course. And you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. It's been years since then, I've... <laughs> well, I've made very little headway. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It's t terrible for business, really. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power in Volgan. You can't even run a shop without their blessings. They claim to be working for the greater good, oh, but it's absolute hogwash. Oh, by the gods, why the hell am I here? So basically you buy armor for him, some shield, you will also sell uh, boss armor after you defeat some bosses. Well I, I, well I do hope I see you again. And the more you buy from him, uh, the better condition you will have. Currently we don't have any money. You will gain confidence and sell you better equipment the more you buy. So it's kind of worse to spend money on him uh, when you can. Yeah, John, don't worry, we will come back to you. Before we go back to, to this guy, we have some item here that we want to take. Now she gave us the Estus flask, we are going to equip it. And now we found an Estus shard, so we are going to enhance it. So we will have two Estus shards, currently we have one. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of stamina, I cannot run a long time. Um, so before we talk to this guy, let's enhance our shard. Okay, so we have two flasters, two esters. So we are going to talk to the last guy, he is talking a lot, so be patient, please. You are undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Dram Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you will sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. 
If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. So now we corrected our mistake <laughs> and we entered this covenant. Decision. People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Do you feel lonely here? Yeah. It suits me just fine, as I have nothing left anyway. It will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once some great fort, but little of it remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. Aid's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth? I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you will never make it down there. Without a ladder of some sort. The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land because to we undead. If you are tired, try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. Long ago. A woman called a firekeeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the firekeepers went. Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way here? These are messages that have jumped the fissures between worlds. In Dranway, the flow of time is convoluted. Things shift and waver, twist and turn. Poignant wishes, dashed dreams, the messages convey our very inner thoughts. If your will to soldier on falters, try leaving a message. Somebody out there is sure to listen. You may notice symbols that appear upon the ground. These are sullen signatures. They call upon spirits from other worlds through the schisms in time. If you fear hollows, find sullen signatures to call upon spirits, maybe. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? You, but don't. Then you find peace on your journey. Okay, we finished finally to talk to him. He doesn't shut up. <laughs> okay, so basically I'm done with this chapter. So next chapter we are going there to the forest of the giants. It's right to the left of the wall. Uh, so thank you for being patient and watching this long chapter <laughs> for almost nothing. And I'll see you next time.